how do we get rid of the influence of the Archons? The exploitation of Gnosticism can prove a very difficult task, since this move, which appeared as a current inside Christianity, has been suppressed since the 4th century, so we don't have too many materials at our disposal. In any case, many believe that modern Freemasonry was born out of Gnosticism. For those who do not know, the Gnostics were Ascals who reported this world as the creation of a pseudo-creator called Jehovah, which would have been nothing other than an alien deity called Archon. The Gnostics also thought that the Bible snake was a benefactor and not a bad maker toward the first men, as they would have tried to offer them the so-called real knowledge, according to which we men have as Saucians or generators, that is, our cosmic parents. Gnostics also believed in the goddess Sophia, whose name means wisdom, the divinity whose body was represented by Earth. One of the Gnostic sects was the Ophites, who practiced techniques very similar to those of Dantra. Dantrics are mystics who used the power of the serpent or Kundalini, a force hidden in the human body, to gain cosmic consciousness and awaken cities or occult powers. The Gnostics seemed to have been involved in orgies that had the same purpose, to awaken the serpent's energy and not for their own pleasure. And the serpent of the Gnostics is identical with the Kundalini, the power of the serpent at the base of the human body. In fact, the word orgy in Greek means work, activation, meaning the use of the power of the serpent to activate Kundalini in both Tantric and Gnostic practices. Through the Kundalini, the Gnostics believed that they would escape the influence of the Archons who would have taken control of our bodies and minds. As for the resurrection of Christianity, the Gnostics believed that the resurrection should be obtained during life and not after death, as it is said by Jesus Christ in the New Testament. They also believed that we do not survive after death, the opposite idea being implemented by the same Archons, the culmination is that we find the same ideas in Tantrism, but also in other Eastern traditions, such as Hindu and Tibetan, which say that we can be resurrected during life. Thus, he who dies before he dies will never die again. The Archons are envious of humanity, for several reasons, but the most important is this, the fact that we live in the body of their mother. According to the Gnostic myth of creation, Archons are species of inorganic beings, aberrantly produced by the impact of Vion Sophia with atomic matter, before Sophia became Earth. They are called Archons, from the Greek Archai, meaning from the beginning, because they would have appeared before the creation of the Earth and the solar system, but they did not appear directly from Pleroma, as happened with humanity. In order to gain control of humanity, the Archons have been deceiving us for centuries, controlling our minds. What are Archons? Gnostics say that a great planetary invasion took place in 3600 BC. The Earth was invaded by mysterious and ruthless beings, the Archons. They could create illusory reality, they manipulated us to enslave us. They were jealous of us for having a soul, they didn't. Some look like reptiles, others like a fetus, grey skin and black eyes. I do not understand the sacred and I hate it, I hate peace, happiness, they want us to vibrate at a very low frequency, their food. Christians call them demons, Muslims call them, also called guardian angels, guide spirits. Archons produce cracks in the aura and install software of fear, envy, ignorance and degraded sex are aggressive, territorial, have demonic powers, being shadowy, they can change shape, put false ideas in your mind and create hallucinations. They can provoke voices in your head, invade your mind, make you moody, I can create feelings of love for them in you. He covers up his abductions by creating fake memory screens, leave pregnant women and take their baby. Archons are attached to the soul as long as they have emotional food. A dark table. They are psychic vampires. Mental parasites. They feed on the energy of thoughts, emotions and feelings, especially the negative ones such as fear. Hatred creates dramatic events that give rise to negative energies. They love violence and are sexually motivated by conflict, rape, war and death. It creates war to consume the energy released by death. 
explain why there is so much tragedy in the world, so many dead, why people hate each other and kill themselves fervently. They push people to do bad things, archons, lead the world, being hidden by official history. Religion, the Latin word relegatio equals to bind you mentally, to bind you to the mind. The elites are not at the top of the pyramid, there are the archons, we have a predator, a predator that came from the depths of the cosmos and took over our lives. The kidnapper is our lord and master. He made us docile and helpless. They took care of us because we are their food. Just as we raise chickens in cages, so do predators raise us in human cages, humane arrows. That way, they have food on hand all the time. To keep us obedient, submissive and weak, they gave us their minds. The kidnapper's mind is the rock, full of contradictions, grumpy and full of fear that he might be discovered. Through the mind, which after all is their mind, the kidnappers inject into their lives everything that suits them. In the depths of the human being there is an ancestral, visceral knowledge about the existence of the kidnapper. This predator is an inorganic being, they called him a flyer because he was hopping in the air. It's not nice to look at. It's a big, dark shadow. They gave us our belief systems, the ideas of good and evil. They have given us envy, greed and cowardice. They have made us full of routine and selfishness. It is believed that the Archangels are the servants of the Archons. Archons are part of the Demiurges network. Yahweh, the God of Moses, uses fear as a tool of control. He is thirsty for blood. He gave precise instructions to Moses about the sacrifices so that not a drop of blood would be lost. This thirst for blood is bizarre. What did the sacrifices mean? Why did it take so much blood? All the arguments converge that Yahweh is a reptilian ruler, substituting himself for God and manipulating mankind. Why don't we remember previous lives? How do we solve the past if we don't remember it? Reasons to feel fear, anxiety, stress and depression? Stress causes heart disease, a global mass murderer that does not allow vibrations to rise. The moon is like a ship, many cultures believe that souls go to death on the moon. Gnostic philosophy states that after death, the divine spark of the soul, brought by Sophia, wants to return to God. In Pleroma, but the archons block its path. By returning the spirits to Pleromu Ahoni and Eoldabath, they would lose the meaning of their own existence, the physical universe. The soul catching net is a terrible and disturbing concept. Archonians stop the soul after death to ascend to God, bind it to the earth through reincarnations. His memory is erased, his soul is recycled in another body. Earth is a prison planet. It is very difficult to escape, it remains a closed system in which more and more people are born in order to fuel the economy and it generate negative emotions to feed the archons. Beings don't remember who they are, archons trigger our negative emotions, using the media, wars, fear and other deceptions, so that we can feed ourselves. We are raised like animals on a farm, we work as energy generators for archons, they fool us, we give them our consent voluntarily. How? We have always been told that we must turn to the white light that appears at death. Hollywood movies promote this. Reincarnation is a form of control, a form of slavery. We are born in ignorance. The only knowledge is that which has been given to us by the gods, religions and ideologies. Decades later we die in ignorance and return to Earth again. In reincarnation I erase your memories. I make you sign a contract of the soul to go through all kinds of trials and horrors that will cause you great suffering. Telling you that there are lessons needed for evolution, to compensate for karma. In reality they are like to generate low energy, their food. The world is Maya, illusion. A theme in Buddhism and Hinduism is that the world is Maya meaning an illusion. Another Buddhist teaching says that life is suffering, and reincarnation is an endless cycle of suffering. The wheel of samsara, which can only be interrupted by spiritual practice. What is the matrix control system? It is the totality of forces and control mechanisms in order to keep us spiritually asleep. Institutions, government, military, medicine, finance, 
media, education and religion, build our belief system and way of life. Their hidden architects may be secret societies, elite bloodlines, corporate unions, international bankers, covered military networks. Some call the shadow government the Illuminati or the New World Order. This social political machine is the matrix, the external aspects, the easy part to see. The roots extend into the occult area and into hyperdimensional lands. We are in a huge spiritual war. The first level of control is the Demiurge, then the Archons, then the Et, different from the demons. They changed our genetics, history, beliefs and they want our total control. They are quasi-physical beings, they have superior intelligence, psychic abilities and technology with which they can change matter, energy, space and time. They are the architects of the matrix. It keeps us in the matrix and the limitation of the five senses, everything changes when you manage to connect with the spiritual world. Control is also done through people programmed or manipulated through whom it can act. Some have no conscious control over themselves. Weaknesses that allow the matrix, perception limited to five senses. We cannot see occult and energetic enemies. Like an iceberg, the matrix control system is hidden from view. Science is firmly established in physics by blocking technological revolutions, free energy. The ego keeps us emotionally anchored in the matrix. When the spirit, the core of our being, identifies too much with the ego, it acquires its weaknesses and forgets its own purposes. Another weakness is our ignorance, stupidity and naivete. They taught us to eat meat, the body vibration decreases. The monkeys were and are essentially vegetarian, by harmonization they became carnivores. Belief in consensual reality, what is allowed, what is impossible. How do we get out of the matrix? There are hidden, unseen intelligences all around, they enter from another dimension to interact with us, it intersects with humanity on many levels, including the spiritual. There are advanced beings who take care of us, programming systems, telephones, TV are part of their arsenal of manipulation, use them as little as possible, go out in nature, meditate. The atmosphere is overloaded with M signals. We need to wake up, to know who we really are. To eliminate false beliefs. To permanently generate endorphins, hormones of happiness, through a state of good mood, not to complain about troubles. Let's be happy all the time, let's laugh, let's sing. Whenever you have negative thoughts and feelings, think that you are food for archons, the solution is to love unconditionally, Jesus. There are only two commandments, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with your neighbor as yourself. They can't stand love, if we vibrate at a higher frequency, we evolve spiritually, we become free, without hatred, fight, murder, they will leave, they can't handle the vibrations. If we do not succeed, we will need an external intervention to throw them out. The enemy is not human. Kill the parasite by starvation. If hatred is replaced with love, anger with joy, he will leave because he has nothing to eat. He can't stand the high vibrations. They gave us their minds. We know that deception is very present in the world. So if we become more conscious and loving, if we raise our vibration with joy, they no longer have the power to materialize, to possess, to feed. If you like the documentary, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be always informed. Until next time, I wish you a wonderful day.